The Dan Tusk Offshore Wind Farm Turbine Installation 90 kilometers off the coast in the German North Sea, Vattenfall and Stadtwerke Munich are building the offshore wind farm Dan Tusk. 80 wind turbines with a total capacity of 288 megawatts will provide up to 400,000 households with green electricity. These workers in the port of Esbjerg are loading up to 10 complete wind turbines onto the installation vessel. A great deal of planning has gone into this operation. The most exciting moment for me personally was when we loaded the ship for the first time and saw the turbines stationed on board. We've spent between one and a half to two years in total working towards this day, and it was really great to see everything completed on time without any issues, and to get everything on board without sinking. The towers and nacelles are followed by the rotor blades, up to 30 of which are carried on each trip. The Pacific Osprey is the world's largest installation vessel developed and built in accordance with Vattenfall specifications. When we started the Dantus project, this vessel hadn't yet been built and was still on the drawing board. When we entered the planning stage, we were able to bring our ideas. Ultimately, we managed to position the components and plan the logistics just as we had envisaged. The vessel is 161 meters long and has individual cabins for 111 people on board. Made of a special kind of steel, the six legs can lift the structure and its entire load to a height of 20 meters above sea level, supporting a total weight of 26,000 tons. This provides a stable work platform on which the installation work can be carried out. The towers are installed as a single unit. They are pre-assembled in the port in order to speed up the offshore installation process. The 270-ton, 66-meter-high tower gracefully glides out over the North Sea as a single unit before being fastened to the transition piece. After the tower, the next step is to install the nacelle. With a weight of around 200 tons, the nacelle is lifted by the vessel's main crane towards the tower. 116 special steel bolts are used to fasten the nacelle. This calls for extreme focus at a dizzying height. Then come the three rotor blades. To install them demands pinpoint precision from the crane operator. Each rotor blade is around 60 meters in length. I am convinced that offshore wind power will play an important part in the future supply of energy. When I think of renewable energy in my four-year-old daughter, it fills me with pride to be a part of this fantastic project. Provided the weather plays ball and the wind is not too strong, the installation work can be carried out without interruption. The technicians and ship crew work hand in hand around the clock. In ideal conditions, it has sometimes been possible to erect 10 turbines in 10 days. The Pacific Osprey only had to be loaded and taken into the construction zone nine times during the summer. This excellent progress significantly increases the cost effectiveness of the wind farm and bolsters the generation of renewable energy. The electricity that consumers draw from the German power grid reflects the energy mix we have in Germany nowadays. This energy mix is made up of both conventional and renewable energy. It follows that as more and more renewable energy gets fed into the electricity grid and supplied to the consumer, there will be a steady decline in the amount of conventional energy that gets fed into the grid and consumed. In the future, renewable energy will become Vattenfall's core business and wind power plays a crucial role in the company's strategy.